with the Chiefs. Uh, this time you get them at home. A little bit more comfortable situation for you guys. Uh, I mean, it's it's nice to have uh, you know the fans behind you. I think little nuances like not having to use silent cadences uh, is always a plus. Yeah, I think especially with a short week like we had, you know, it's it's really nice to have this home field advantage. Uh, but we also know that in the playoffs, these teams uh, that have made it this far are used to adversity and adverse situations. So we understand that uh, the Chiefs will be ready for it, and um, we'll just be uh, it'll be a great atmosphere come Sunday. Silent cadence. You've experienced plenty of games over there in the playoffs where it's pretty impossible to hear. To have them have to go through that now, how, how difficult does it make it from your perspective? Well, I, I think it just uh, it definitely helps with you know communication on their part. It'll be uh, it'll be a little bit harder to do, um, but they they got a good system over there, and uh, it'll it'll give our our fans an opportunity to. Uh, to really make an impact on the game, hopefully. Since you talk about every team that's not gone as far as dealt with adversity, this team, this, the Bills included, what makes you believe the Bills today are better equipped or more prepared to, to maybe handle um, what you will be facing on, on, on Sunday? Well, I think we've been in a peculiar situation since bye week of being in a – if. Uh, when you you win and you have the opportunity to continue with your playoff chances, and if you lose, you know they're dwindled to near non-existent. So um, I think if anything, we we're just a, a group that's used to playing freely, understanding that um, if you can do that and not worried about making mistakes. And usually good things happen, and if and if they don't, then you can lay your head on the pillow and feel like you still left your best foot forward out on the on the field. Mitch, when talking about their defensive line, <coughs> obviously the attention goes to Chris Jones. We've got other guys, Karloftis, I think, had double-digit sacks as well. Um, what makes it so challenging that they have multiple guys that can do it? Yeah, like you alluded to, all those dogs can hunt. On the uh, on the defensive line, and uh, it's just a testament to Spags' defense. And then when you have your opportunities to, you know, to go one on one, um, they take advantage of those at times. So for us, it'll just be understanding that you know they play with a lot of energy, a lot of juice. They're relentless when it comes to attacking the quarterback and stopping the run. So we'll have to match that intensity, no doubt and understand that it's going to be a four-quarter game with some ebbs and flows. They're, they're, going to, uh, you know, they're going to have their punches in there, and we're just going to have to navigate those and make some in-game adjustments and stick to our rules. A minute ago, Josh said that it was communication that was a big factor in why you guys didn't turn the ball over in this game. Is there anything that goes into an elevated level of communication from your perspective since you're at the kind of work on it? Well, I think what we alluded to earlier, playing at home helps, um, especially – the line of scrimmage stuff and uh, you know in play adjustments and you know those those last 15 seconds on the play clock uh, really helps when you're playing at home. Uh, yeah, communication is a big thing, not only between the offensive line and the quarterback, but also the receivers and the quarterback. And um, it was huge. It, and I just I give all credit to Josh for um, you know it was a delegation of sorts. And then when he uh, when he didn't like something, or he he has the ultimate trump card, and he was, you know, he was definitive and finite about it, and that gave us a lot of clarity to go out there and just keep playing. Not knowing the vagaries of, of the weather, not knowing what that storm was going to bring overnight, how important was it that you guys got together today to at least have the session in a short week, just to bring back a routine? Yeah, I think you know we're we're routine-oriented fellows and gals, and. Uh, you know, this sport thrives on routine. That being said, I think the COVID year gave us a baptism in regards to giving yourself some grace and flexibility. 
um, having some contingency plans and stuff. So uh, I think that really helped come this past weekend. And, uh, yeah, you can only control so much. And uh, I think when you master what you can control, then you let everything else follow, and it's a, it's a great relief. Just to be here, I think Sean pushed back practice as much as he could. Just, just, just to be here, I, I, is, is the importance of that? Yeah, whenever you get opportunity to really put yourself on the field and walk through, if like today, or, or, or just be able to have an opportunity to work it in person, it's great. It, it's just so hard to do sometimes over Zoom. All right, thank you. Thank you.